character of a nation is often measured by how much each person cares for a fellow citizen. If you see someone in distress, reaching out for help, do you step out of your comfort zone or would you do nothing? That's the question we try and answer in this series. What's your choice? How much do we, the people of India, really care? Every society, every country all over the world has its share of social evils, like racism, class discrimination, religious bigotry, to list just a few. And India is, of course, no exception. We have discrimination based on caste, class, religion, gender, and much more. But in each case, like other countries, India is fighting for change, fighting for a better future. But perhaps there is one social evil that is widespread and deep-rooted in India, and nothing, absolutely nothing is being done to change it. It's the huge discrimination based on the color of your skin. White is beautiful, dark is ugly. It's ridiculous, and it starts early. When a baby is born, the biggest compliment in Bengal, for instance, is to say, Wah, ato porsha. If you want your son to marry well, you pray for a girl that's fair and lovely. Color prejudice in India is not only widespread, but analysts say it's getting worse every decade. They say forget the fact that nothing has been done to change discrimination based on the color of one's skin. On the contrary, we seem to be doing our best in this country to make prejudice deeper and more pernicious. We sell products, we sell creams and gels and allow advertisements that reinforce this social evil. But perhaps in the face of all this commercial and social pressure that reinforces color prejudice, there is some hope the young in India could, just could, be fighting back. In today's social experiments, we check out how widely accepted color prejudice is across India. Are we fighting against it? We carry out social experiments with actors and our hidden cameras in different parts of the country, from Bangalore and Mumbai to Amritsar and Delhi. Our first experiment is in Bangalore. For our first hidden theater, we select a restaurant called Hanging Gardens in the heart of the IT district in Bangalore. None of the customers in this restaurant know that Chandru here is one of our actors who pretends to be a senior manager at an IT firm. Excuse me, sir. Can I, can, can I talk to you for a minute? Nobody knows that Priyanka is also one of our actors who's just been rejected for a job by Chandru, mainly because she's too dark. The interview happened just a short while ago and they bump into each other at this restaurant. So, but um, I don't understand why I wouldn't get, get the job, sir, because this is what I specialize in in college. Hey, there, is, there are parameters to it and uh, we, I think uh, we did explain you quite well. So, I don't understand. So, I have the skills, my portfolio is so strong. I'm, I'm better than a lot, a lot of the people who applied, sir. Mm -hmm. And you, you just refuse to even look at my C, uh, CV. No, I did go oh. through your CV. I did go through your CV. I think I, told, I made it clear. We have a certain set of rules with the company. So on I, what categories do we select people and things like that. So I have skills, so I'm good with time management, I'm good with people relations. See, so it's not I, about time management, it's not about the skill and all. You, you are not understanding with the section that we are looking at. The customers can clearly hear the conversation, but nobody actually intervenes. So, but I applied for the customer services job. So. It doesn't take long at all. In fact, it's amazing, but this customer reacts immediately to the insinuation that the girl's skin color is important for a the, job. The skill and the skin part is also looked upon. So I don't see how... how Excuse me. I'm, I'm sorry, I was just overhearing your conversation, but uh, in, it's already 2015 and I don't think people, you know, see the skin tone and hire someone for a job. See, that I'm, is... I'm sorry I just interrupted in your uh, little meeting, but uh, uh, I don't know. No one, No one's... Uh, been such a racist, I've never come across someone who, who talks like this. I mean, no one, no one takes higher someone based on, you know, their skin tone or whatever. No, we sorry. have our own uh, set of uh, rules in, in our, in our I'm company. I'm sorry, I, I was, I couldn't help. And you raise a part help. of your question, like, you 
I don't need to tell you what. No need no, not but, tell me, no, but, but I guess the person sitting in front of you needs yes, the answer. Yes. So. Because I'm, uh, I couldn't help but uh, overhear this whole conversation. This is what is my company policy. I've been paid for it. Okay, I, and, I don't know. Uh, and please, I think you can this appreciate. Is, this is very wrong. I, I had, it was my personal opinion, uh, Mr. See, her skin color definitely matters. This is very wrong. I'm sorry, I will stand up for this. See, and we can't, we can't take this kind of people to represent our company no, in upfront. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Um, sir, you're, you're being very wrong. My company doesn't need such niche... Uh, she doesn't need companies like yours. She can get hired in better places. I'm sorry, but... I, I'm sure you did See, you have a lighter this. skin, that's what, that's the reason why you're talking. No, it is not about that. Nobody has is such a racist in this sense. It's 21st century. It is, it's not, it, no, no, it is not about racism, it's no. about the company's image. No, it, oh my god, I don't get this. I, I'm very sorry for See, you, I, darling. She's asking some questions which I'm, yeah, uh, which I don't uh, think so I should be are, answering. Yeah, you are right now pissed off about something else and uh, basically. See, I'm making one thing very clear, was the color is very important. Color is not important. It is very it's important. important. It is very important. Why did your company hire you? It's okay. It's Have okay. you it's ever okay. seen any dark okay. people succeed? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You know what? You have had, have you seen any better life they have had or anything for that matter? President Obama <laughs> is a dark skinned person. But actually, you know what? I shouldn't even be saying dark or fair or whatever. Mm -hmm. In, in no, this. Actually, you know, just, in just let it go. Okay, you know what? I guess you have to look out for a better company and you definitely yes, have to think about it. Success point. goes with the fairer success people. Success does not go with the fairer people. I, I will give up my lunch right now and I will sit and debate with you all. Yeah, time. yeah, please. I'm very sorry, Mr. But. Uh, this doesn't work like this and I don't think this poor girl needs to go through all this exactly. just because of Have I'm you sorry, not seen I'm the ads right. or the fairness cream? I think you should learn from the ad. Ads are being very wrong and the celebrities endorsing these kind of ads are still being much more wrong. See, this is there is a company policy. I have been paid for it. I have been asked to select people exactly like this. You know what? I think right now I need to be raising my voice. I'm a very polite person otherwise but what you're doing mister is very wrong. This girl does not need to go through all this. She doesn't deserve this kind of a treatment here. Yeah? I'm voicing my opinion because I'm a woman and I'm taking a stand for another woman. Now, how does it work it, in the world? It very much works in the world. People like you don't work in this world. I've never seen someone with such a narrow-minded thinking that you judge someone based on their skin tone. I'm I'm sorry. I feel See, sorry. See, backhand is absolutely fine for her where she will not be no, seen. It, nothing is fine for her in your company. I'm sorry. Nothing is fine for this girl for your your I consider me yeah, that's, your that's exactly. Elvisher or your sister or whatever, but trust me, See, you can, she you can, can get a, she can get a backhand in my company. That's what I'm trying to tell her. If I send her up front on front or a customer inquiry or something, you think somebody will will acknowledge Why? her and talk and talk to her? See, you see, see, right now, right now, for an example, the way you're talking. I can definitely see you, you have zero percent skill to actually talk to, talk exactly. to a stranger or I'm even sorry. another person. Nobody talks mm -hmm. okay. like this. And I can tell you, I can write it and give it to you, I can, actually she can beat you in this. A beat where? I beat, beat you in, in all forms. Actually, speaking, anything for that matter. actually speaking, you know, uh -huh. so you're really racist. talking about. Now our production team decides it's time to reveal time. ourselves and let everybody know that this is a hidden social some... experiment. Yeah, we have to be... <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> It takes a little time for it to yeah. sink in that this is in fact just an act. And these are our actors. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? <laughs> okay, so I'm just I was seeing an outright rude racist person who was putting down a girl for her skin tone and he who was just not appreciating her for what her talent is, for what she's skilled for. But I don't know, who judges someone based on skin tone? I... I think I just, uh, <laughs> I lost my cool when this person was just going overboard with this uh, whole thing, but yeah, that that's so wrong. It's very wrong. No, Nobody nobody judges someone based on their skin tone. No one hires someone based on their skin tone, yeah? This, it doesn't work that way. But, but I'm still taken aback, but I, I really lost my cool. And trust me, my friends being the gentlemen that they are, they, I think, this person would have just got bashed up. See, basically, we are not fair, first of all. And on top of that, somebody calling some, some other person from the same cultural background mm -hmm. and being racist 
you know within the country from where you expect res uh, respect from the other countries this whole uh, taboo of you know uh, oh my god dark skin people i i really disagree on this and these frankly to all those actresses out there i am sorry but uh, you guys endorsing these fairness cream ads i, I don't think it's it's just a big thumbs down from my side i think from all of us such things really exist because yeah i see my own uh, friends i'm i shouldn't be saying this but i see my own friends facing issues with their uh, weddings probably you know uh, because uh, say the guy's mother wants like a fairer bride now this is a big no no and i i really disagree with this whole thing so it it very much exists in the society but again it each starts it starts from within so you take a stand against this i think the whole world will stand by you Deepthi Mohan there who intervened in that social experiment is part of India's thinking and forceful next generation. And you heard her, she appeals to all our actors and our creative minds not to produce advertisements that portray that white skin is ideal and that dark skin is a disaster. The young thinking India asks, please do not reinforce social evil. Don't reinforce color prejudice in India. stop those advertisements they say for whiteness creams don't base beauty just on the color of a person's skin unfortunately selling creams that promise to make you white is a multi thousand crore business in india so self restraint seems to be a losing battle against those headwinds of huge profits in fact the advertising standards commission of india the one private self regulatory body in our country that really works well has had to step in and stop certain kinds of advertisements the asci had prohibited ads of whitening creams that promised that you'll get a better job if you're fair you'll get a more handsome husband or a better wife you'll pay less dowry the whiter you are these may have been stopped and thank god they have but other more subtle ads that reinforce color prejudice still exist today frankly white is beautiful is the ugly underbelly of the ad market in india let's go across to mumbai to check it out set up a hidden theater at a place called Art Loft it's an acting studio in Mumbai the director the camera person and a wanna be actress are our actors she is shweta she is a model she is an actor okay just face back face back okay. and turn into camera yeah action thank you thank you so much shweta we'll be in touch with you 1 2 3 and action happy hair for happy days use resham hair oil None of the other students here know that there are hidden cameras everywhere and this is just an act. Okay What's fine. It's like where do uh, these people from? Sir, so she's from Delhi. Yeah, it's it's a hair oil product. Anyway, okay, thanks a lot. Uh uh we get in keep we keep in touch with you. But nice. Okay. Yeah. I know what I want. This is not what we want at all. And I'm sorry with all due respect the color does not match. Okay? You're dark. and it's not going to work out it's not going to work out you have got we're looking at a hair product we're looking at you know i'm sorry to put it this way i'm looking for so i'm sorry but uh, this is I'm, for a hair hair brand right i, it mean, is for a I hair have brand. nice hair the other students in the cafe look upset and disturbed but nobody says anything with all due respect it is it's not going to work for my food in fact instead of intervening they're so uncomfortable with what they hear they actually walk out and waste my time and waste your time further with this it does not make any sense you so are dark we are not into casting or dark people over so here for this so how does being black matters to you i mean because i have long hair because this is for finally they let the director know that he's just gone too far sorry no but you know the thing is that we are the, the thing is we are we are, I'm trying to tell her for such a long time. No, the problem is she should not use the word "you're black" and we don't require blackies. Yeah. It's a wrong word, and you do not use the word. I'm casting for a pomic. Yeah. Yeah, but then the thing is that she's not getting the drift, right? Right from the top. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Anyway, I can't. We can't go around with this anyway. So thanks for your time. 
other students also step in to console the model. They don't know she's also our actor. <laughs> And I don't think it's right to do that to any woman, irrespective of, yeah. So I think it's wrong. So that's it. Yeah, they 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 do happen. They do happen like that. But it's just who stands up for it at the end of the day. So I just did. So I hope everyone does also. It is just. It's supposed to be real. It's a social experiment. So. While this customer didn't actually intervene, she was also clearly very upset. Because it was violating. I think it was exceptionally violating to say something about skin color. Unfortunately, as Indians, all that we think is skin color, and all that we think about being fair as being human, it's not like that at all. It's a um, remnants of the Raj, where we've seen all that we've looked up to is white people, and we think as white being good and black being bad. It's if you go to an audition and like. If you just don't fit the part, then they'll just tell you. Like sometimes the requirement, like kind of messages that are written, like the requirement says, looking for beautiful girl. And if you go in and you, they're like, do you fit? And they say no. They're essentially telling you you're not beautiful, and you don't really have a say in it. Many of the finest, most creative minds in the ad world argue, or try and convince themselves perhaps, that whitening creams are just like lipstick. They argue that thinking that white is beautiful is the same or equivalent to thinking lipstick makes you more beautiful. But more serious studies show that there is a fundamental difference between the two. Lipstick or eye makeup is a trivial embellishment, while reinforcing a social prejudice against people born with the darker skin is a fundamental social discrimination issue, with many of the same characteristics that racism has, and it just cannot be equated with makeup. But our social experiments indicate perhaps there are some signs that India particularly young india now knows that unlike our advertisement there is something deeply wrong with color discrimination we did a survey across the country of various cities and we found that the elder generation found that it is much more common 80% said color prejudice is common but among the younger generation 63% a lower amount but 63% is still high now let's check out this hidden theater experiment in Amritsar. We set up our hidden cameras in this small restaurant and our actors are playing out a common scene in India, a family looking for a bride for their son. Everyone at this table are our actors. None of the other customers in the restaurant know that they are actually performing a scene in which the boy's family is upset that the girl is too dark skinned for their son. other customers begin to look a little upset, but nobody actually intervenes. Suddenly the man at the next table has had enough. पाजी साड़ी आप भी काले 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 का
वो ही बनाता है सभी को ये तो बहुत फील होता है हमारा को खाने को दिल नहीं कर रहा था आज की हालत ही ऐसी हो चुकी है इंसानों की इंसानियत तो खत्म हो चुकी है ना कोई ये देखता है कि किसी की बेटी है ना कोई ये देखता है ये यहाँ पर ही नहीं हो रहा एक्चुअली सड़कों पे भी ऐसे ही हो रहा है कहीं पर कोई काली लड़की निकल रही है तो उसको छेड़ा जाता है ये मेरी बेटी है मैंने जिक्र किया था मेरी शादी हो चुकी है ये मेरी बेटी है इसको इसका रंग मैंने नहीं बनाया ना इसकी आँखें मैंने बनाई ना इसका नाक मैंने बनाया जो कुछ बनाया परमात्मा ने बनाया ये गाली हो जाती ये मोटी हो जाए कल को तो कोई ऐसे बोले तो मैं कितना को बर्दाश्त कर सकूँ अरे ऐसे देखा जाए तो हमारा भी कोई मैच नहीं बनता फिर तो <laughs> हमारा भी काफ़ी फ़र्क है लेकिन मुझे बहुत प्राउड है ये मुझे बड़ा प्यार करते हैं फिर भी ऐसे नहीं रंग ये कास्ट ये रंग रूंग नहीं देखना चाहिए काला गोरा And the fight by ordinary folk against color prejudice is not just an isolated one. We took our social experiment to a bus stop at Sarojini Nagar in Delhi, where once again our actors are social activists. You've seen them before, Atul and Kadimburi. इसीलिए बाहर नहीं भेज रहे भैया झाइयाँ वाइयाँ हो जाएँ, सांवली हो जाए लड़की, धूप से तो देखो हो ही जाती, कितनी भी गोरी लड़की हो, धूप से तो सांवली हो ही जाती है. Rashmi here is also our actor. and is listening into the conversation on how light skin is so important pucho agar koi ladka kala hai ki bhi hamara agla vansh to badal jayega kam se kam gori ladki se kala to nahi hoga ye aisi mansikta ho gayi logon ki ke samajh nahi aa raha others waiting at the bus stop also listen in but say nothing they don't intervene bahar se bade advance bante hain lekin jab andar bahu ko dekhne jaao to so baat hai banayenge are kali la hai kali la hai पर चलो थैंक गॉड हम तो भगवान को धन्यवाद करें हमारी लड़की तो गोरी है हाँ मेरी बेटी भी गोरी है मेरा दिमाग भी बड़ा गोरा है अच्छा हाँ चलो अच्छा है आपका तो काम नहीं बढ़ गया हाँ पर देखो सामने लड़कियाँ बस है तो बस माँ बाप के लिए बड़ा कठिन काम हो जाता है कैसे शादी होगी क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा है ना और एक्टर रश्मि स्टार्ट एन आर्ग्यूमेंट क्या काला गोरा कर रही है अरे बेटा तुम थोड़ी कह रहे हैं तुम्हें नहीं कह रहे हम हम तो एक जनरल बात कह रहे हैं कि काली लड़की हो तो शादी होना कितना मुश्किल काम है बेटा हम तो ये बात कह रहे हैं तो ये भी इस बात पे हमारा साहब वो सामने लिखा हुआ था स्ट्रॉगर इन साइड और शाइन आउटसाइड साइड भी बालों के लिए लिखा हुआ है लेकिन जनरल तो बात यही है यंग लेडी इज क्लियरली डिस्टर्ब एट वॉट शीज हियरिंग तो बेटा पहचान बनाने वो कह रहे अभी तुम देखो अगर लड़की को आपकी सोच है ना वो वैसी आपकी सोच है आप किसी को ये नहीं बोल सकते ना की तुम मामला खाओ तो तुम्हारा अच्छा एक बात बताओ बेटा काले तो कृष्ण जी भी काले थे इसमें कौन सी बड़ी बात है वो अलग बात है लेकिन काला रंग होने की वजह से रिजेक्ट करे आंटी आज कल लड़कों की सोच भी ऐसी नहीं है बहुत पुरानी सोच है बहुत पहले की सोच है ये आज कल लड़के भी कोई ऐसा नहीं देखता जब लड़की पढ़ी लिखी होगी अपने पैरों पर खड़ी होगी ना तो काली हो चाहे सावली हो चाहे कुछ भी हो लड़का अपने अच्छा एक बात सुनो ये तो भगवान ने रंग दिया है हमने खुद थोड़ी ना बोला कि हमें हाँ। काला बनाओ या हमें गोरा बनाओ नहीं नहीं बेटा है अभी भी आप नए जमाने के बच्चे हो आप लोगों तक तो सोसाइटी में बाप हाँ। दूसरी सोसाइटी में रहते हो हम दूसरी आप लोगों अच्छा को लग रहा है ऐसा आप लोगों को हम कौन सी सोसाइटी में भाई फिर आंटी बुरा लगा ना आपको देखा फिर बुरा लगा पूछा है पीछे सोसाइटी पुरानी सोच है आपने बहुत जानकारी है ठीक है हम लोग बूढ़े हैं तो हमें हमने जमाना देखा है 
वही तो बात है आंटी जमाना देखा तो जो बोल रहे हो समझ के लाओ पे मत लाओ इसीलिए तो कह रहे हैं कि काली लड़कियों को नहीं पसंद करता कोई ऐसा नहीं बात आंटी आंटी वही अच्छी होती है जमाने के साथ होती ना आंटी जमाने के साथ अरे पूछो भैया आप आप काली लड़की से करते शादी ये लड़की हो रही है अरे काली भी बुरा नहीं है बस देख लिया उसकी क्वालिटी इट्स टाइम नाउ टू रिवील आर कैमराज फ्रॉम एन डी टी वी देर आर एक्टर्स हमारे एक्टर्स हैं ये कलर डिस्क्रिमिनेशन पे एक एक्सपेरिमेंट हो रहा है आपको क्या लगा यहाँ क्या चल रहा है मुझे लगा की इसको सब टारगेट कर रहे हैं और बट ऐसा होता है राइट इन इन जॉब इन लाइफ जी बिल्कुल इट वुड नॉट हैव बीन एन एक्सपेरिमेंट इन जस्ट अ नॉर्मल सिचुएशन इट इज नॉर्मल इट्स वेरी वेरी नॉर्मल जस्ट लुक ऑन अ पर्सन क्वालिटीज एंड इट्स केपेबिलिटीज इन नॉट जस्ट द फेस वैल्यू इन द लॉन्ग रन द कलर द फेस द लुक्स वोट मैटर ओनली थिंग दैट मैटर्स इज द इन क्वालिटीज ऑफ ये ना मेरे साथ खुद हुआ है कि अगर मैं एक बार अकेली थी बस में तो मेरे साथ हुआ था तो किसी ने आवाज़ नहीं तो मुझे बहुत बुरा लगा था तो अभी ये अकेली थी तो मुझे लगा कि मुझे बोलना चाहिए तो मैंने बोला कि बाद में मुझे बुरा ना लगे कि हाँ मेरे को बोलना चाहिए था पीछे कि बाद में मैं सोचूं कि मतलब मुझे नहीं मैंने क्यों नहीं बोला तो इसलिए मैंने बोला सबको करना चाहिए ताकि सबको खुद अंदर से अच्छा फील हो ना मैनी यंग वुमेन हुआ बॉर्न विद अ डार्क कम्प्लेक्शन have complained about the strange but consistent reaction they get whenever they go shopping to buy lipstick or makeup or face cream almost every shopkeeper every time will inevitably suggest to them without being prompted without being asked that actually what they really need is something not lipstick but whitening cream unasked unprompted they give advice free advice Hello this is Hirashmi Singh and uh, it almost seems like it's very difficult to buy a normal day cream without being forced to buy a cream which can lighten brighten and whiten your skin if you don't believe me just take a look in this experiment our actor is wearing a hidden camera she wants to buy just a normal cream but almost every shopkeeper she meets ignores what Hello. she wants and instead yeah, offers her a skin whitening cream, cream. स्किन वाइटनिंग इसके अंदर एंटी पोल्यूशन के साथ है प्लस ये वाइटनिंग क्रीम है ये फेल लुक देता है ग्लो और फेनस का वर्क करता है आपको बेस्ट ये आपका बेसिकली वाइटनिंग पे वर्क करेगा स्किन के जैसे कम्प्लेक्शन डार्क हो जाता है Now that experiment tends to point to the strong commercial underpinning of color prejudice in India. In fact, there are many medical doubts raised about whitening creams. Whitening creams just don't do what they claim. In fact, they do little more than if you simply stay away from the sun. Doctors say that the difference that whitening creams make is frankly only marginal and that the ads are terribly misleading. Many doctors and they're backed by social analysts also want the use of whitening creams to be discouraged and argue strongly for a tax to be levied on these creams something like in the case of cigarettes for example make these creams less profitable to produce and to market they argue that society should use taxation to stop this glorification of white skin and stop the prejudice against dark skin In our final social experiment we are at a popular restaurant in Delhi called Flavors in Defence Colony. At this table are our three actors. Nobody else in the restaurant knows that this is an act and that there are hidden cameras everywhere 
ready and waiting to capture any reactions. Well, I was telling Tarun uh, before we, uh, before he actually shortlisted me for the interview, uh, we had a telephonic conversation, and I was just telling him about my past experiences um, in the marketing, uh, in the companies that I've worked. Uh, I mean, I've, I've learned from what I've done. I've, I've, uh, so, what exactly would you like to do in the company? Where, where? So, definitely marketing uh, strategies and analyst and various. Um, I was roles. hoping you wouldn't say marketing, actually. So, but he's got a fantastic resume, no? No, you may have a wonderful resume and all that, but uh, uh, we're looking for very presentable people. Uh, I'll be very honest with you, it would not work for you because you're dark. You're, you're a little too dark, you're darker than what, uh, somebody that I would employ as a front marketing person. The customers at the next table begin to react, but they don't actually step in or do anything. You're employable, you you're, you're highly employable, you're definitely um, uh, qualified, you have experience, you've done everything. But at the end of the day, complexion matters. The darkness really does matter, you know. I don't understand, really so what's why would I have to do anything with... Uh... Tarun, you've put me in this place. It's clear that the people at this table are upset, but they only discuss the issue amongst themselves. They don't intervene yet. You can consider me even for an internship in your marketing department, so that'll be great. So I can prove, I'll, I'll, prove, sorry, I'll make my way. You know, I'm really I'll prove sorry. myself. I'm sir. really sorry. I'm really Finally, sorry. Finally, as this customer no, is sorry. about to intervene, others on the table really pull him back. What's the name of those creams? Yeah, those people use. Yeah, he should. You should have told them to use this. Fairness cream or something, he needs to just get some fairness cream or something. And use that. So I'll do it. I'll do that also. So if you give me just one I can't chance. I'll give you the job now. It's a very simple fact. You really disturbed me. Yeah? I've flown all the way. Here. I'm really sorry about that, sir. I mean, I've flown in for this interview. Finally, they decide to complain to the waiter, though there's little a waiter can in fact do. This is because your face is black, I'm not going to give you a job. But how much you deserve this job? At the end of the day, you're just too dark for the job. It's that's, it boils down to that. Complexion matters. So please, sir, no, no, I'm sorry, but you have to understand that in marketing, sir, this is the way it is. I'm going on explaining it. So please, sir, I mean, I mean, my experiences. Finally, a lady at the table is too upset to allow this to carry on. Both mother and daughter come to our actor's table and let him know what they think of his behavior. Not marketing, just too I'm dark. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry? Yes, can you talk to you for a minute? Because you're talking nonsense about objectionable in color. But in marketing, it's not what I'm saying. GS agent enterprise. I'm not talking to you. You're really, really racist. You should not talk to you. You're a racist person. Which company are you from? GS agent enterprises in Bombay. And we just come in. Yeah, we'll make certain that I will put it out on the net that nobody buy anything off you or do anything with you. You're a See, racist. marketing person has to you're be You're also black person. in color. No, but in marketing... Well, you're also black fair. in color. What the hell? See, in India, we are full of all these... One minute. India is full of all these fairness. Yes, that's how we change that. I have a small... That's it. Don't that's work true. for this company. They are racist. suggestion to make you. Finally, before things get out of hand, we let everyone know that this is part of a social experiment and these are our actors. That I have to be restrained from being forceful physically. This is the deeper thing that color discrimination is no go in India, right? Once, happen. twice, or 50 times, you said so that. So there are actors. No, that's fine. If, if, if it that was, we got yes. the message, yes. it's fine. Sir, by the way, he really cramped down. I want to kill you. I want to kill you. I want to kill you. I think you did a good job. I think you did a fantastic job, but you were revolting. You were revolting. In other words, you acted very well. In other words, you acted very well. Well, you got the thing, and, and and I'm sorry to say this. And he my lost the job. Was, yeah. These guys restrained me. My impression was I was going to and come here and toss this table on your face. But yeah, that's how good you were I as an actor. There's an awakening in society. Let's be honest. Yeah. We need to become more alert and more aware, and also have the courage of our convictions, which most often we ignore. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay. And this gentleman was fabulous. Yeah. Thank you. Kill him. You're black.
black in color, I'm white in color. I got to get the job. You can't get the job. I'm going to go up over there. I'm more intelligent because of my color. How the hell does it work? It works on your IQ power. That's all that works. And if we don't stand up for it, India is going to go down the damn drain. There's something I can't handle. I wanted to get up the first, very first minute. But you just kept pulling back. I said, listen, take it easy. Yeah, let's, let me. Then it got too much, you know. Let's be tolerant for the other person. Let's not say, I am better. My religion is better. My language is better. My color is better. Let's just say, that's another human being. OK, so what's the bottom line? Yes, there's little doubt that color prejudice is widespread in Indian society. There's also little doubt that whitening creams unfortunately reinforce that color prejudice. But our experiments suggest that the ordinary folk in India, particularly the young, may be beginning, just beginning, to acknowledge that this is a social evil. How many people in our experiments said to us, this is the 21st century, India must overcome color prejudice of any kind of form. Now the government may have a role, but the interveners in our experiments prove that individuals too can make a difference by doing something. Stopping this form of prejudice when they see it and not look the other way and say this is none of my business. They said to us, stand up, step forward for a better India. Do something.